I'm telling you all when it all falls down. Wow, I actually ate that. I, I was trying to sing that bad on purpose for a bit. What the Hello, f viewers, and welcome to Band Lab. That is. Something's wrong with my camera. Hold up. Okay, here we go. Band Lab. This is the, there. I know I already did a video on this exact same uh, software that we. I, I know I already did a video on this, but we're gonna be doing another one because I like money. Hello, I like money. That was a that was a bad Mr. Krabs impression. I'm gonna cut that out in a post. Anyways, let's get into this. We're we're here on Band Lab, right where we. Hello, is anyone there? Hello. Guys, I think my house might be haunted. We are back right where we left off. I believe the last song we listened to was Blue Abyss on the, in the in the previous video. If you haven't seen the previous video, go watch it now, because I, I like money. <coughs> so I think from this point onward, also ma the majority of the songs are uh, published. So these aren't like unfinished beats anymore. These are gonna be actual songs that I tried on. First song we're gonna listen to is Road Burn. I believe this song is from the game Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion, judging by the front cover. Timing was really off in this song. This is a cover of Road Burn from Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. Okay, thank you for clarifying me. This was made on June 16th of 2020. That is almost one, that's almost four years ago on the dot. This is four years and ten days old that, as of recording this. If I can edit this video fast enough, it might be exactly four years old on the day this is published. Ha, you thought I was gonna do that thing where my, where my face cam blocked the title again? I fixed that. I'm, I'm kind of feeling this. This is like kind of a housey beat. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was a weird dance move I just pulled. Oh. Oh. This definitely doesn't hurt my ears at all. Back at it again with the really high frequencies that, like, pierce your eardrums. Okay, that was road burn. More like eardrum burn, am I right? <laughs> I'm definitely not anxiously checking my streaming software right now to make sure this is filling. I'm gonna be giving that one a negative one out of 10. Once again, all of these are public on BandLab, on my BandLab profile, so if you wanna listen to any of these for yourself, Go right ahead. There's tons of them that I'm not going to be covering in this video for the sake of time, so uh, knock yourself out. Anyways, keeping with the theme of video game soundtrack covers, we got Smashing Windshields, which I believe is from FNAF 6. Let's give it a listen. Okay. 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 Oh. I love the random pause there. That really adds to the atmosphere. I haven't actually missed a note yet, which is impressive. Oh. Oh. Okay. There, there are some awkward pauses in there. Um, and I believe this is still being played on that old Casio keyboard that I mentioned in the last video. Uh, it's actually right over there in my room. Uh, I'm not gonna show it because that's a bunch of junk on it right now, but it, it's still there. Okay, I actually, I've actually hit all of the notes in this song so far. I was expecting a lot of missed notes, but... Okay. Okay. Oh. Well, he, he didn't do that. I'm pretty sure that's not the, uh, how the song went. That one was better than some of the previous Casio keyboard ones because I actually hit all the notes. Um, it, it didn't hurt to listen to. The song wasn't like blasting in your ears. It sounded all right. I'd give that one a two out of 10. This song is called Cray Cray. It is privated, so you can't listen to this one. So let, let's give it a listen. Oh, oh, DJ Cal. What the hell is going on? Oh, oh, it's building up. <laughs> Never mind. Oh. Um, I really don't know what's going on right now. I. Uh, what the hell? 
It just feels like an amalgamation of random, like, 2000s club pop songs. What is this? <laughs> okay. This bit kind of goes hard. It just keeps building up and then nothing happens. Okay, now, now we're, we're going back to that whole pressing random notes bit from the last video. This is so incredibly boring. There's nothing happening. It's just it's just the same five sounds for two minutes. What? what? <laughs> Stop pressing that button. What is this, a soundboard? I don't even want to listen to the entire thing, but I have to, to um, because I don't know. I just feel the need to listen to this entire thing. It just it just plays the da 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 da, da and then the thing happens. He really loves that uh no, 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 no. He really loves his samples, um I can tell. Is the beat finally gonna drop? Nope, it just ends. You know, after listening to that, I can kind of see why I was left on private. I'm gonna give that a negative four out of 10. So next up we have There in the Game V2. Let's give that one a listen. I don't know if you guys remember, but There in the Game was a song in the last video and it was so bad. Maybe one of the worst ones we listened to in the video. Editor, play a clip of that song. Oh, oh, that beat drop. Oh, okay, okay, we're back into it. Okay. <laughs> Such a goofy fucking Now we got There in the Game version 2 and it says I made a song a while ago called There in the Game but it sounded really bad so I made a better one. Okay. So I think this is um this is a new uh 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 this is a I commented on my own song twice. It says, "Okay, this has got to be me new favorite song by me. Me new favorite song arg." What? Okay, without wasting any more time, let's listen. Hit it. Oh, that's loud. Oh. Okay. Damn. Da, 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 da. I remember this song. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this was made with a looper. I bet you a hundred dollars this was made with a looper. Let's check the studio. Let's let's pop into the studio real quick. Haha! <laughs> I knew it. Game Boy Power Pack. I did use a looper. So basically, I didn't make that song. I just threw together a bunch of pre-made loops that were not made by me to make this song. So I didn't even make any of it. I'm giving that a 0 out of 10. This... Is my house haunted? I think I might be schizo, guys. I keep hearing stuff behind me, and then nothing's happening behind me. This one is called Weird Fandom. Let's give it a listen. Okay. Okay. Da, da, da. Pretty nice bass line. Okay. Okay. If I click on studio and it says like acid jazz pack in there or something like that, I'm gonna be very upset. Okay, it says Acid Blaster. That's close enough. I'm giving a weird fan of zero out of 10 once again because I did not write it. It's not my song. This song is called Universe. I made it using some random other music websites, so this one wasn't made with BandLab. Let's give it a listen. Oh. Um. What? I don't like the way this sounds. I think it's just gonna loop on like this. It, it's, just, it's just gonna sound exactly like that. Yeah, it, it's just that. That one was uh, short but sweet. Um, it just kind of went do no no no, do which I don't think is very. Oh, I just spat all over my keyboard doing that bit. I wouldn't call that a particularly calming song to listen to. I'd give it a negative one out of ten. Okay, so this song is called Kill It. Um, I believe this is the first song I made using BandLab instruments. So um, no loopers, no Casio keyboard, no whatever. 
This is, uh, this is that. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. DJ Khaled! Another one. They believe in us. God did. Aw, oh, I was expecting there to be a harder drop there. Okay. <laughs> it's just kind of this over and over. <coughs> okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, we got we're pulling out the electric guitar. Oh. Okay. Um, I'm not really sure what's going on, guys. I, I really do not know. Okay, so I th think that was supposed to be the song. Oh, this one, this one blew up. TGO Music says, Cool, I really like the end. Thanks. This was kind of weird, a uh, messy project, and I wanted to make something that wasn't just random loops. TGO Music replied, Yeah, it's good to go original, bro. Well, I'm glad this guy was supportive of me. Okay, that one is all right. Better than the looper ones, so I'm going to give it a 1 out of 10. Once again, continuing the theme of uh, video game music covers, we got <coughs> Wall Street from Edge. Okay, I shit you not, the game title is actually called Edge. Let me explain. Let's listen to a song from the game that I remade. DJ Cal. Okay, we got the, got the, the ukulele. Oh. Um. It's a bit off sync, I think. Hey, that rhymed. My god, I didn't even know my voice could go that high. Okay, the original version of that song is a banger, Wall Street from Edge. My version, not so much. I give that one a 2 out of 10. It wasn't awful. Didn't hurt to listen to. This one's, oh god, this one's almost 4 minutes long. It's called At Sea. Boy, TGO Music is back again. For an original and for a beginner, this is really good. Really? I was just playing random chords that probably don't exist. I will try to do more stuff like this. Yeah, man, keep practicing and you'll get better in no time, just like I did. Let's get, let's, uh, let's have a gander at this. <laughs> I was about to sing along to this, I don't even know how the song goes. Pirate ass music. It has been 730 days. My crew has not found its loot yet. We have searched the entire seven seas, and not one chest has come up. I'm starting to think that the legend of the golden trophy within the buried treasure chest in the Balkan Islands is simply a myth. I'm even starting to believe that the Balkan Islands themselves did not even exist. Okay, let's stop uh, rambling and listen to the music. Oh. What is, uh, Okay. Okay, that's a nice chord. That's a nice chord. That's a nice chord. Keep playing that. Let's stick with those nice chords. Please don't, please don't press a weird note. Yes. Yes, keep pressing that chord. Okay, you can, you can stop pressing that chord now. You can stop pressing, you, you can stop with that. Okay, here we go. Uh, okay, see that's not a good chord. You don't, we don't wanna do that. Oh. Okay, we're whipping out the violins now. 
it's a bit loud. I'm gonna turn it down. Okay. Oh, okay. Maybe play less of that chord. Da 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 da. Uh. I don't really like the combination of those two notes. It doesn't sound very pleasant on the ears. I'm liking the little melodies he's throwing in there, though. Oh. Oh, damn. Okay. That's a, that's a heavenly chord right there. It's a silly little bit there. Quite silly. Oh. He's learning how chords work, guys. Surprisingly, that wasn't as bad as I was expecting. I mean, it was no by no means good, but it was better than the others. I'd say that's the best one we've heard so far. The vi the violin bit at the end, that was pretty good. I'm gonna give that a 4 out of 10. I think that's the highest score we've uh, given in this series so far. This song is called The Big Man's Office. It's only 55 seconds long. Let's have a listen. By the way, amazing title for a song. I don't think any other song title will ever top the titling of this song. What's it with these, like, pirate-ass beats that he's making? Da, 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 da. Oh. Um. I'm I'm not really sure what this is. The synth in the background adds a nice little bit of atmosphere to this. Oh. Oh. That bit at the end there. Okay, not so sure about that synth solo at the end. The little bit where the violin and the piano and the, um, and the synth were all working together, that bit was all right. I'm gonna give that one a three out of 10. Not as good as At Sea, but it, it was definitely better than all the previous ones. We're making some progress here. You can, you, you're kind of watching my musical skills slowly evolve, very slowly. This song is called Straightforward. Pretty straightforward. Let's have a listen. Um, this just sounds like the, this is just the TikTok clock theme from Mario Kart. I, I don't mean to be that guy, actually this is from that, but uh, it, this is just the, this is just the TikTok clock theme from Mario Kart. <laughs> kind of random, but the ending is pretty good though. Uh, thank you for your commentary on the song. Um, 2020 Sir Sandman. Oh. Okay, he's hitting those chords. Oh, I was building up to something there. Why'd you stop? You, you were doing so well. Oh. What was that? What 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 is that? Why does it go bring? <laughs> this whole song is just so goofy sounding. You just cannot play a not goofy melody. Oh, our 
Does mine... Okay. Okay, that... It went off. That's just Jaws. Oh, damn. All right. All right. Is this the good part? Okay, the ending was not pretty good. I think the ending was maybe the worst part of all of that. <coughs> okay, straightforward was a pretty big step down from the previous two. I'm starting to think um, I'm only allowed to use violins, pianos, and synths for all of these songs. Because that's like the only instruments that's been featured in the past few ones. Okay, I kind of, I vaguely remember this one. It's almost giving me some nostalgia here. Gradual Liquidation Remix. Semi-accurate cover of Gradual Liquidation from FNAF Sister Location. I may have left a few parts out, but this was as close as I could get. So for those of you who don't know, this is the title screen music from... Uh, FNAF sister location. Let's have a listen. It's only one minute and one minute and thirty-nine seconds. Let's uh let's press play. Okay. Sounds alright so far. Da, 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 da. Oh, here we go. There it is. Okay. Okay, he's hitting them chords. Okay. 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 Not okay. Uh huh. Okay, we got the riser. Okay, this part's pretty fire. Oh. Oh, okay, that was a bit odd. Okay, that bit at the end was pretty cool. That one was uh, a bit disappointing, but I don't really care too much, you know? I'm gonna give that one a two out of 10. It wasn't, wasn't as good as the... Actually, no, I'm giving that one a four out of 10. It was all right, it had some good bits, had some bad bits. It was a mixed bag. Okay, this song here is called Wrong Ending Question Mark. This is a little song I made for a video game that would play if you get the normal ending. Dot dot. The song's kind of short. I got an extended one up my sleeve. Oh yeah, he's, he's got he's got an ace up his sleeve, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, let's take a listen. Oh, harpsichord. Again, what is it with these piratey ass beats? Yo, man, yo, act like I've never seen a white person before. Okay. Oh. Oh. This got me bumping my head. Bro, imagine they play this in like a nightclub or something. <laughs> Oh, that was, a, that was a bit weird at the end. When they bust out that 2020 era Sir Sandman and the club goes wild. Okay, that one was actually 
probably the best one I've heard from all of these. Like, even better than Atsy. I'm giving that a 5 out of 10. It didn't really have much going on, but it had a decent, actually a pretty decent melody. Like, a shockingly decent melody for this early. Not to toot my own horn or anything, I'm just saying. I, I, had, I had some, um, I had some smarts going on. I, I had some what? <coughs> We're gonna be skipping... <coughs> Sorry for trying to talk, lungs. Uh, guys, I swear I don't vape. I just have a, I just have a lung thing going on right now. Has my dog really got to be barking right now. Please stop barking, pretty please. Thank you. I have a very uh, negotiable and agreeable dog who listens to what I have to say. Anyways, this one caught my eye. FNAF theme song. I don't even know if FNAF has a theme song. Um. But we're about to listen to it, so... I hadn't used my eye rig in a while, so I decided to compose a main theme for the entire FNAF franchise. Let's have a listen, then. Okay. I think this was on the Casio keyboard again. This one. Oh. This is actually bizarrely calming. I don't see what this has to do with FNAF though. It, it does not sound like something that's from FNAF. It kind of wait a minute. Okay, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to pause the song, but this sounds like the opening theme from the FNAF movie. And this was made in 2020, what the fuck? Wait, hold on, what? So this one keeps going, da, 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 da. And I think the the the, original, the the actual FNAF theme song was like, da, 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 or something like that. This sounds very similar to that, what the hell? Why this is too quiet? I'm, I'm still not really sure what this has to do with FNAF. Oh, here we go. Here's the, the, the Toreador Marsh. Da, 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 da. Oh. Oh, he altered it. <laughs> this one got me thinking, bro. Okay, this melody's starting to get a bit boring. Maybe we could- can we switch up the melody, please? Okay, that's pretty, well, we still got like 10 seconds, hold up. Okay, that's that. Well guys, that was the FNAF theme song. Uh, surprisingly good and surprisingly accurate, a bit concerningly accurate. Did I have like a time travel machine? A time travel machine? Did I have a time machine back then? Did I come to the future and watch the FNAF movie and be like, okay, I gotta write this, I gotta write that down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this song and I'm gonna play it slightly off on my Casio keyboard on like a weird ghost synth. I'd say that's the best one we've listened to in this entire series. I'm probably gonna keep saying that because they get progressively better, but I'm gonna say that's the best one we've listened to so far. It didn't have any weird missed notes didn't have any weird sour chords. Didn't sound like it was like stabbing your eardrums. 
I had a decent melody. All of it was pretty good. Like not again, not to toot my own horn or <coughs> not to toot my own horn or anything. I know I made this, but I still am acknowledging the fact that I did this probably on accident about four years ago. I'm gonna give that song a six out of ten. It almost sounds like those weird audios you would see on those like Instagram reels where it's like top ten scariest things caught on camera. Number five will shock you. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I sure enjoyed making it kind of a bit. I'm probably gonna do more of these. Um, I'm gonna keep going with the whole listening to old band lab beats I made, um, probably up until the modern day. So like once we reach like ones that have been made in the past year, um, that's probably when I'm gonna stop. But until then, uh, get ready for more of these videos to be published. Uh, if you like this one, then hit subscribe with the notification bell so you know when the next one's released. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Ah!